President Biden is considering a controversial new executive order that would force public companies to report how much they pollute and the global warming risks that they face. Climate envoy John Kerry says this could have a major impact on financial, on, on, on financial corporations and the fossil fuel industry. Let's take a listen. It's going to change uh, allocation of capital. Uh, suddenly, people are going to be making evaluations considering long-term risk to the investment based on the climate crisis. Um, so, Dana, I want to start with you. So, John Kerry sort of making this point around why corporations need to sort of report their fossil fuel, and at the same time, Wall Street is sort of saying that they're encouraging their investors to make less climate risk decisions. So how does that sort of square with the fossil fuel industry who's saying that you should invest in us? The, I, I, the fossil fuel industry will probably have the last laugh when everybody comes running to them saying, actually, could you please still supply us because we can't turn the freaking lights on. Um, I think that the <laughs> Dana. levels... Is that allowed? Dana, there are kids watching. <laughs> I know you're watching, Greg. I'm not worried about you. Um, so I think that they do this in Europe, I'm pretty sure, because it feels like this whole climate piece is wanting to make us more like Europe. But here's what happens. Europe doesn't meet its obligations. They don't. Well. They don't. And they just are like, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, we, yeah we, we can't do that. China is not meeting any of its obligations, and no one's going to force them to do it. Um, I actually don't mind the fact that there are um, ideas in the venture capital world or in financial management that have said, we're going to be looking for clean energy investments, and that's what we're going to fund. That's a market signal to me. Uh, this basically is just more uh, penalizing of these companies. However, who are these companies going to turn to? I mean, at this point, you know, they're going to want, they're going to need Republicans to help them deal with the coming corporate tax hikes, something like this, and increased regulations. But they might not have too many friends at the end of this. So um, when John Kerry goes to China and says, we are going to hold your feet to the fire, that's when I think American companies can think about doing this as well. So I guess my next question goes to you then, Katie. So in a world where we don't want to use regulation to encourage companies to not emit as much carbon or whatever, how do we do it? How do we incentivize companies to sort of think about the environment when they're making their corporate decisions? Well, John Kerry could lead by example and maybe not fly private and reduce his own carbon footprint if he's going to lecture everybody else about their carbon footprint outfit. But for him, it hasn't changed his behavior at all, uh, even though he's claiming that climate change is the greatest threat to the entire world when it comes to the challenges that we face. And the bottom line is that, okay, you can tax companies and force them to admit to their you know, so-called pollution, um, but what they're going to do if this is a cost to them is simply pass it down to the consumer, which means more expensive plane tickets for the average person, which only hurts people who are middle class or poor people, as these government top-down policies always do. So companies have an incentive to compete and to you know, be clean, and they, they don't want to necessarily pollute, especially in the United States, but China is not telling their companies that they can't pollute, and that's who we're competing against, and yet they're punishing the little guy in America if they decide to go through with this. Sure. So, uh, so Jesse, same question to you. How do we provide incentives to companies to do this so we don't have to put regulations on them and push that down to the consumer? I think natural gas is the answer, Richard. If you really want to reduce emissions, get behind clean, abundant domestic natural gas. The shale revolution is actually what's reduced U.S. emissions, not solar panels, not Teslas. So why aren't the Democrats backing natural gas? Oh, that's right, because they want to control the private sector and dominate your life. That's the real reason. <laughs> Are some of these companies going to sign up for the shame game? Sure. They'll just write it off as good PR. If they're woke and green, it'll get the politicians off their backs and yep. they'll look the other way. They get rich off Chinese slave labor. That's a whole nother story. But Richard, I don't even believe the climate science anyway. They've been wrong for decades. All these climate scientists said that Manhattan was going to be underwater. There was going to be a worldwide famine. All the Arctic ice caps were going to melt. and. You know, I was going to be sunburned for the rest of my life. It just hasn't happened. I have a great tan, and, and people are obese. There's no famine anywhere. So why do we keep listening to people that are so wrong over and over again? I mean, would you listen to a, a financial advisor that was wrong every single day? No, you'd go broke and bankrupt. 
we'll agree to disagree on that. But Greg, you get the final word. Um, Quickly. Climate alarmism is Joe's fossil fuel. We uh, we were we were fed a big <laughs> lie that he was uh, this centrist, this unifier, but he's just Greta Thunberg jacked up on Ensure. And, and and he doesn't he doesn't even care. Uh, but I'm going to go to I'm going to uh, return to Dana's earlier point uh, where she was rarely uh, uh, I mean she was very cogent, rarely cogent. Um, <laughs> I, we're going to have to go. There's a realignment going on, and the realignment is also kind of hitting the idea of energy. I think we're going to start looking at seeing Democrats and progressives. Because a lot of progressives are changing their mind about nuclear energy. And you're seeing it. I think even AOC has kind of like warmed, warmed to that. But um, right now, it, it, this is just another issue where it becomes a moral crusade. And it's like the church of the almighty apocalypse. If you don't report your sins, then you're evil. And I think corporations yeah. will report their sins because it's just easier to do that than be, you know, humiliated on Twitter. I, I hear that. Well, we re we'll report our sins in the fastest coming up next.